Hey folks, Vince Bruzio from Previews World. We're here at the Dave Dorman booth at San Diego Comic-Con because the man's got a lot going on. You probably heard about it, or maybe you saw it on our website. The Obama cover for the Other Dead, number one, that's coming out from IDW. I don't know how what, how many weeks is that? Is, uh, about right uh, corner, six man. weeks, yeah, beginning of September, so um, coming up soon. How'd that come about, man? Uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, writer-editor just gave me a call uh, and said, uh, you interested in doing this Obama cover? And uh, he gave me a rundown of uh, the people who were working on the book, Kevin Eastman, and, and uh, a couple of people that uh, I've known for a long time. And I said, sure, you know, I'll do something <laughs> fun. And uh, so they told me what they wanted. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. And, uh, you know, it's among the other 10 things that you're working uh, on. Uh, like. Yeah, among, <laughs> among the other things. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, was, it was fun. It was something different, uh, maybe a little bit controversial, but, you know, it's satire. And uh, uh, I, I think that the likeness turned out real good. And, and so, you know, that's what makes me happy is to make sure that uh, you, you get the quick look, you know exactly who it is. And then, and then you look at the rest of the piece and you say, hey, what's going on oh, here? There's actually a story there in there somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of other things, man, yeah. um, you know, you're not only just doing that. I mean, of course, you're always doing something Star Wars related, but... Wasted Lands. Wasted Lands. I was lands. just talking to your boy Mike a little bit ago, and I saw the uh, the prototype for the game. Uh huh. You know what, what's up with that? What's going on? Yeah. Well, Wasted Lands is uh, a project that I've been working on for about 15 years. Uh, the first real iteration of that was uh, the graphic novel Rail, that came out from Image about 10 years ago, and uh, uh, we had some problems with that internally. And so I just sort of sort of took that back and sat on it for a while, uh, but it wasn't dormant. It was it was uh, uh, going around in my head, and I kept creating some new characters and eliminating some other ones and changing some plot lines and making it bigger uh, than what it was. Originally, it was supposed to be a five. A graphic novel series and I only had the chance to do one but I plotted out the others but now I've had a chance to sort of re-envision it and I'm going to reboot the graphic novel uh, coming up in the spring uh, new pages of art new coloring re-lettered uh, a couple of new characters introduced and uh, that's going to be the reboot of the graphic novel series uh, along with that, uh, we're doing some other fun things with the Wasted Lands. Uh, uh, one of my business partners, Mike Bodden, and his son Tim uh, have created a game specifically for uh, the Wasted Lands and Rail project. And it's, it's a sort of a board game mixed with a card game. So you can play it with, it with, with two players, up to eight players, or any number in between. Uh, it's about uh, uh, rail barons uh, trying to take over other uh, uh, barons' rail lines and then eventually invading Mortal City, the big megalopolis, and taking over the world. So it's very cool. It utilizes characters and, and backgrounds from the uh, rail graphic novel and from the world that I've created. Uh, but you don't need to have read any of the material to enjoy the game. So it's independent of the story if you haven't read the book. It is independent of the story. You can play it right out of the box. But if you're familiar with the characters and you're familiar with some of the other things that are going to be coming out that tie in with Wasted Lands, it just add, adds that little more interest uh, to what you're doing. If you like a particular rail baron in the graphic novel, you can play that rail baron in the game. So that's very cool. Uh, a couple other things that tie into that. Uh, I've had, uh, over the years, a couple of, of text novels written about some of the ancillary characters in the Wasted Lands universe. And we are just now putting those into ebooks. So right now, uh, the first one is called A Thousand Angry Teeth. It's available on Kindle for $2.99, uh, uh, introductory price. It's going to be the first of three independent books. They st they're standalone. But if you read them together uh, or, or in connection with the rail graphic novel, you'll see characters that appear uh, in both stories. So you'll be familiar a little bit with the characters as well. And I'm doing new cover art for the, the Kindle books, even though it's electronic uh, uh, you know, uh, imagery, right. it's still going to be brand new Dave Dorman artwork for the covers. And if we get around to doing maybe a hard uh, 
a hard printed version, then you know we'll have uh, we'll have some nice artwork uh, uh, to go along with that too. So those are a couple of things. We're uh, also looking into the possibility of doing um, a mini series featuring one of the other characters called Iguana. Uh, he uh, owns a bowling alley and uh, bar in Mortal City. He's also a detective on the side. Uh, so uh, he's a pretty crazy character. Um, I want to meet him. Yep. <laughs> well, if you're going to be here next year, we'll probably yeah, have him here right. making an appearance. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're looking at, at doing that uh, for some time in the spring, doing a four-issue miniseries, probably self-published through my company, Rolling Thunder. And uh, there's some other things that we're working out to uh, serialize uh, some shorter stories in some anthology uh, comics or magazines that I can't talk about too much right now because they're in development. But uh, uh, between now and, and next summer San Diego convention, you'll start seeing a little bit more Wasted Lands material come out. And I'm very excited about it because I've been living with it a long time. And you know, uh, Star Wars and Indiana Jones and Aliens and Predator, they've been very good to me over the years, but they're owned by other people. Right. And so for me to be able to take my own creations, put them into uh, a real life for me, and put them out there where, where my fans can see what's in my head, uh, it's very exciting. So, you know, I'm just full full steam ahead with that, and we'll see where it goes. Well, it's going to go far, man, I mean, because there's a lot of people out there paying attention to you. I had to fight like crazy just to get five minutes with you. Hey, oh, I was Dave Dorman, Dave Dorman. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me, man. Oh, my pleasure. Good luck to you, right. you know, and hang in there. Folks, the one and only Dave Dorman, he's going to be here. Of course, next year at San Diego Comic Con, we're gonna look for iguana when we get out there. I'm gonna hold you to it. You look for iguana. And That's it. Right there. And there you go. There, you go. there she is. Keep All the right. faith. Keep reading comics. All right.